What's good, everybody? It's your boy Showtime. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Y'all already know what time it is. So on this video right here, man, I want to talk about Angel Reese. Now, yesterday, I talked about Joe Budden and the statement he made on the Joe Budden podcast I didn't agree with. He feels like, well, Angel Reese is all over the place. She should follow another WNBA player blueprint, right? But Angel, but here's the thing. Angel Reese is not your average WNBA player. Angel Reese came in the league with, your, with the biggest social media presence. And when I mention that, you have people in the chat literally not getting what I'm saying. Like, they're so stuck on just basketball because they want Angel Reese, again, all these dudes want Angel Reese to be a struggling WNBA player that have to go overseas because that's what they said she was going to be. That's, that was everybody's prediction. Everybody said she was going to be a struggling WNBA player. She's a nobody, right? But because she's a somebody, she's bigger than back because her her brand is bigger than basketball. They feeling some kind of way about that. Now they now they moving the goal pole, they're shifting the narrows. Oh, she's just too all over the place. She she don't care about basketball. Woo, 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 woo. Well, look, WNBA players, here's the, the the harsh reality is this WNBA players don't make a lot of money. You know, compared to the NBA and, and the NFL, they don't make that amount of money. Now yeah, they don't play as my uh, they don't WNBA only play 40 games, pair the NBA play 82. Still don't if even if you cut off the NBA um 82 games, right? Games played, right? Cut it to four, they'll still make way more money. Angel re signed a four year three hundred twenty-four thousand three hundred and eighty-three dollar contract. That's our rookie contract with the Chicago Sky. That's an annual salary of eighty-one thousand and ninety-six dollars. So She's not just look for anybody else, bro. They'll they'll literally have to go overseas to make their money. You know what I'm saying? Because they 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 still got to pay bills. The season over, you ain't gonna see no checks. So, Angel Reese is just fortunate that she's not just your average WNBA player. Angel Reese has a social media presence. And you know what falls behind that dollars. Last night, she was at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. How many WNBA players at the Victoria's Secret fashion show at the Met Gala's? Like, she getting the bag. And you got to – you you have to be logical. Be realistic. Okay, if you was a WNBA player and you was getting paid $75,000 a year, what would you do? How else would you make your money? This somebody that don't really have to wake up and say, oh, how am I going to make this up? How am I going to pay my bills? She don't have them kind of concerns. She had a she had a, uh, a two, three million dollar NIL, NIL deal. She had one of the biggest NIL deals at college um, before she came into the, the WNBA. She has she has a great agent. She had great um, business partners and great mentors, you know, um, before I get into that, right? And I, I finish, I'm gonna say this. Speaking of one of her mentors, right? People forget Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, he was one of those rookies that his brand was bigger, big was bigger than basketball. His brand literally is spanning out to hip hop. Shaq was a rapper. Shaq literally, as he was playing basketball, his rookie, he was working on a rap album. Shaq Diesel released in 1993 went platinum people don't want to people forget that Shaq you you got guys like Shaq you got guys like um Ray Allen coming into the league getting some movies you know Kobe Bryant you know Kobe Kobe was one of those guys right he was one of those rare guys that he he had a, he he was in commercials and all this stuff but he wanted to just play basketball but again, that's NBA. The salaries are different. So you look at the um, WNBA, right? Angel Reese came in with the biggest following out of everybody, right? On top of that, she has good relationships outside of basketball. So she's making money in different ways. She got the podcast going on. She got other things going on. So, you know, her, her income is um doubling and tripling past what she making in WNBA. That's 
WNBA is chump change compared to what she's doing outside. So, right. Now, let's get to this. So, yes, okay, yesterday, you know, you got the uh, fans, you know, criticizing her going wild and out and like what she wear. Look here, man. I'm not finna criticize her for nothing, what she wear, all this stuff, because I don't, y'all are cool with y'all favorite basketball players walking around here uh, dressed like a woman and walk around here with purses and all uh, and lipstick and all uh, getting their nails done, all that stuff. I ain't finna criticize no woman, bro. Because until y'all look here, bro, she can wear what she wanna wear. I'm not a title. Me, I just I'm a, I'm just that's just one of my favorite basketball players. I'm not a I I look, it's not my my right to speak on what she should wear. That's not my job. She, she wear what she wanna wear. She's a grown woman, 22 years old. Now by the way, 22 years old is grown, but she's young. So there's certain things she got to, you know, she going to learn. She going to pick up on. It might be years down the line. She might not like the outfit. I don't know. But look, it don't really matter to me. So you got this fan right here. She says, um, Andrew's acting like a girl with a nice body that don't know what to do with it. These outfits cheapen her brand like she went on some other show and the outfit was so cheap and stupid. Like, girl, get it together. And here's the thing. When did why would a millionaire listen to a thousandaire or a hundredaire? <laughs> when when a millionaire start listening to thousandaires, we don't that she shouldn't she, I look if I'm Andrew Reese, I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Now Ange Reese clap back on her. Now Ange Reese at the uh, fashion show style and profile, she tweeted this. I thought the brand was cheaping. Cry about it. Now, Ain't Reese putting it in y'all face, and we gotta be honest. I mean, look, look, bro, like she's a big she's a big factor, bro. And you know, a lot of people don't want to agree with this, but look, the, the problem the problem is this. Why are you why are you why are you having such a hard time giving this girl any kind of props? You know, um, just give her show show some kind of respect, like applaud. Hey. Even if you don't like her as a basketball player, you got to respect her hustle. You got to respect the fact that she's grinding. She ain't just sitting around crying about her WNBA check. She out here getting in multiple different ways. You know, so this went viral, right? A lot of people like Joe Budden and I see struggling comedians talking crazy about Angel Reese. Say, oh, she ain't this, she ain't that, you know. Angel Reese drops a video, right? She got on Instagram live last night, right? A lot of people are talking. About, they, they, she goes in and says, Well, I don't even know my WNBA salary. And if you pay attention, she's being sarcastic and she's trolling y'all back. Literally. You know why she's saying that? Because she's, she, she's, she, she, she putting it in y'all face. Look. Y'all mad because I'm getting I'm getting my I'm getting a bag. I don't need a WNBA check. I don't even know how much my WNBA check is. He pays the bills. He ain't pays them bills, baby. I just hope y'all know the WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally. I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay at. Let me do the math real quick. He might cover that. Yeah, he covers, it, that. He definitely it, covers that. What is my I don't even know my salary. 74? Okay. Times. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't even know what uh, salary. Does it? Let me see. You don't even. <laughs> Yo! I'm living beyond my means! <laughs> it's like. Um. No, my rent is more than that. It's 8,000. <laughs> I'm living beyond my means. Like y'all think. Babe, if y'all thought, mm -mm. it's like, let me see. I don't, even, I don't even know my salary for WBA. That thing. Did I even pay my car note? <laughs> yeah, I think it pays your car note. Yeah, I ain't doing it that thing. Yeah, so look, now you listen to what she said, right? Now clearly you can you can see her being sarcastic. Clearly, 
And you have people in the conversation, oh, that's her fault. That's her fault she living above me. Bro, do y'all listen? Do y'all pay attention, bro? Are y'all that stupid? She making fun of she trolling y'all and she putting in y'all face. Because you're not. Here's the, here the crazy thing about it. They want, it's, it's like, man, if one thing don't work, we got we to gotta shit on to another. Look here, bro. I'm going to tell you just like this, man. Stop trying to break something that ain't going to break, man. Stop, y'all, which all y'all doing is punching a brick wall right now. You're only hurting yourself. You go outside and punch a, if you got a brick house, go outside and punch. Or go, go, just go pick up a brick and just punch as hard as you can. Which one you think gonna hurt? Gonna hurt. Which one you think that's gonna hurt? Yeah, so think about that, bro. Look, man, she already got it figured out. She got the internet thing down pat. And that, and that's the one thing, um, I was starting to get worried about. I'm like, man, all this hate she getting, man, this shit might break. Me. It didn't. Man, I'm sitting out here, man. She she out here with Cardi B. She hanging out with Cardi B, Queen Latifah. I mean, look here, bro. This this bothers people. I noticed that. That really bothers people. Seeing a WNBA player that's um brand is bigger than bigger than the, the um the, the game of basketball, and they mad about it. Hey, here the news for y'all for us basketball. Don't y'all know she's scheduled to already work out? She's already been um putting in a little work. It just don't show on camera. She got she's scheduled to work out in the fees of college. She's gonna be playing basketball in January. Now y'all gotta remember something. Again, she's 22 years old. She's been playing basketball nonstop for the last couple of years. She can't get a break. Why she can't get a break? Now the off season the WNBA, WNBA is very is 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 much longer than the NBA. Like WNBA season don't pick back up till the, what March. So she got um this month, November, December, January, February, March, April. Like she got plenty of time to worry about basketball. She I, she rehabbed her hand injury. And she already said in the AC interview, if you go listen to the AC interview, she already said, hey, I'm going to be working on my footwork. I'm going to be working on making sure that I be more fish around the rim. I'm going to be working on my outside shot. She already said all this stuff. So, I mean, what are we doing? I'm looking forward to an Unrival League. I mean, I think this is going to, that's going to be a great experience for her, you know. Um, it, it's It's – Hey man, look at like I said. My message to any man and woman, this for men and women. I, you may be you may be great at basketball, football. Um, you may be you may be a um work on work in the oil field, work on the boat. That's always great. It's always great to have a great great job or career or whatever. If there is something else out there that you're great at and you you can monetize off of it and make money, do it. Do it. Don't just sit, stay stuck on one thing. If that, you got other ways to make money, get your money, man. It's, that I, I'm happy to see. I like when I see these women getting their bag. 2024, man, we living in different times now. Everybody's eating. If you ain't, if you starving out here 2024, that's your fault. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Get in the conversation. Light it up, man. It's your boy Showtime. I'll holler at y'all the next one.